Hi friends, Sammy here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys today. It's been a minute. Um, I Like I've posted all this on Instagram, but I've been sick, I've recovered. I just got done with spring break. Today was our first day back and I'm ready for summer. Um, that's not what this video is about. I am so excited to be sharing with you guys today my, let me get it, it's a big box, Emily Lay Simplified Planner Spring Launch Order. I got all the things and look how cute. This sticker comes on every order. It makes me so happy. Um, but yes, um, the new Simplified Planners launched last Tuesday. Today's Monday, April 11th, and I got my box today. I ordered as soon as everything went live, and it shipped out the same day, and I got it today. So, super excited. Um, but let's just get into this and talk everything Simplified Planners for 2022-2023. Hey, you guys. I am so excited. I just unwrapped everything and I, it's just so beautiful to look at this stuff in person. It's beautiful on their website, but oh my gosh, the colors are just, they're just gorgeous this year. And I know they're the same colors as they are every year. Like they have a color scheme and they just play off of it differently every year, but I just love it. Um, so let's get into this. How I'm gonna do this video is I'm gonna go through all the accessories I got first, and then we're gonna do a quick flip through of the daily planner that I purchased. And then in my next video, I am going to do a complete flip through of their teacher planner. I did order both because I am a teacher and I'm gonna need a planner for next school year. Um, and so I want to share my thoughts on that as well, but I didn't want to cram everything into one video because that would take forever. And um, I just want to go into depth and talk about how amazing their teacher planner really is. Um, so let's get into this. I'm super excited. Um, to start off, this isn't an accessory, but in every simplified planner, purchase they do send their simplified post which they've done for I think a year now um but it's just this fun little magazine type thing I guess it's more like a newspaper but it just has some like mini articles that you can read um about different things and then you have an I spy and gardening I hope you can hear me because there are jets flying over my house and I appreciate them but it's really annoying sometimes okay I think we're good now and then you have a coloring page so that's the simplified pl um, planner post it's super fun and cute do with it what you will but I thought I would show it off for a second because I think it's cute and then the next thing, I did not purchase this either, but this was like a free gift with purchase of anything on launch day. You got this fun car magnet and it just has their simple um, pineapple design with the wreath. And I think this is super cute. And I really appreciate that it's something I'm actually gonna use. And it's not just some random weird gift that's kind of cheap and whatnot, so. But there's this, um, like I said, super excited to put that on my car. Okay, let's jump into these accessories. The first thing I got was this um, Bees in Bloom page marker. I have a bunch of these. I don't have any around right now because my daughter, she's funny. She loves these things. She's only 18 months, basically. Yeah, 18 months. And she doesn't use them like how they're supposed to be used. She just likes to carry them around. She thinks they're cute. She tells me, mom, cute. And she, she just loves them. And I think it's hilarious. So I don't have any around me right now or else I would show you the other ones that I have. But um, I ordered the Bees in Bloom one because um, this is the planner cover I got, spoiler. Um, but I already have a Happy Stripe one. And I'm using Happy Strike to accent my 
um, Bees in Bloom this year. Since I already had a page marker with Happy Stripe, I thought it'd be fun to get a Bees in Bloom one. Um, so there's this. I love the gold foiling that they've done on these. Whoops. Um, but it's super cute. Next up are the stretchy bands. Um, these are new colors that they released. We now have a green and yellow option, which I think are fun. And I think they go super well with the planner that I got. Um, but I think I might go back and get the pink ones because those look super cute too. So I might be making another purchase pretty soon, but there are those. Next up, I have, um, I got the Friction Highlighters, and these are erasable, which are super cool. And these are the only writing utensil from Simplified I had not yet purchased. I do have their pencils. Let me show you these. Um, I think these are really fun, but they just have different little sayings on them, like grace, not perfection, joy, and simplicity. The yellow one just has bees, but... I really love those, um, and then I also have their original Pilot Precise V5, um, pen set, and I actually need to get another set of these, just because these are getting really old. I've basically, like, I got these with my very first MLA purchase, um, and so I need to get some more of those, because a lot of the ink is running out of them, or they're just dead. And then I have gotten a couple different um, fancier pens that they have in their shop. I have the Navy Gingham and then the um, Happy Flora one. And these are my favorite. They write so smooth. They don't skip or jump when you write with them. Um, they're just beautiful. And honestly, I know they are a little bit on the pricier end of things, but compared to other fancy planner pens that are out there that are super expensive um these are quality they're definitely worth it um in my opinion but anyways so now I have these super excited to use them um I'll definitely show you how I use them in both my daily planner and my teacher planner when that time comes Okay, and then next up, I got the Happy Stripe Mini Notebook, and I got really excited about this when I opened it up because they've changed it a little bit. So here is a old um, Simplified Planner Mini Notebook. First off, the page is, so the thickness is about the same with both of them, but this paper has more tooth to it. It's very textured. Um, like Erin Condren paper, it's not as textured as Erin Condren paper, but it has the same feel. And then the lines and the pineapple, all of that stuff, it's lighter. Um, and honestly, like, since the paper's so thick, these were kind of hard to, like, open and whatnot. But now, um, all Simplified Planner products have this new paper it's smooth it still has that same thickness like I was talking about but it's smoother um it doesn't have any tooth to it which I love it's brighter and they've darkened the lines so it's all black and I love it it's easier to open up and flip through quality notebook you guys um so I'm really excited to use this um I use these things for everything I use them for brain dumps, for meal planning, um, random ideas or goals that I might want to try or have. And so I definitely recommend these, especially if you're stuck between what planner you want to get. Um, get the planner in one cover and then get a notebook in another and it'll just make your life a lot easier. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but there is the notebook. And then I grabbed these um, color coding dot stickers. I've used these in the past. I love them. Um, they're just my favorite. So there are those. One thing I wish about them is that they were um, transparent so you could see through them. 
that'd be really cool because then you could put them over like dates and stuff but they still work for me so I love them um and then lastly what I got is this linen journal these are new to their shop and I just love them um they come in every color they um have in it the simplified um color scheme so I got the yellow one because I'm all about the bees this year um and they all have a different quote on the back and mine says less busy more balance which just resonated so much with me in my season of life um with being a new teacher and a new mom and trying to still juggle all of that while being a wife and making time for myself I feel really busy and when I'm not busy I feel like I'm not being productive and I'm just wasting time and so I'm trying to find that balance um but I just love this I love the gold foiling it has this a blue interior and then like I said, the paper's different. It's smoother, still thick, black lines. Um, it comes with this little page marker ribbon. And I'm just so excited to jump into this. I honestly might start this before August. We will see. Um, just because I want to get back into legitimate journaling. I've done a lot of memory keeping in different planners over the years. Um, and I love that. I love taking pictures and writing about my life and what I've been up to, but I want to get more, um, intentional with that and back into a routine of me writing like deeper thoughts of how I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, um, things I want to accomplish, stuff like that. Um, just to really know and check in with myself, I guess. Um, cause I used to do that when I was younger. Um, but once again, with a busy schedule and everything, it was just a lot easier to print a picture and write about the, um, things that I'm doing. So I'm really excited about this. Um, I think it's going to be really good for me. So I will keep you posted on this. I'm obviously not going to be sharing what... I'm writing in my journal, but I'll probably share some tips and what I have been using my journal for, if that makes sense. Okay, you guys, here we go. Moment you've all been waiting for. Here's the 2022-2023 Signature Simplified Planner. I'm so excited to show this to you guys. Um, it still comes in the navy blue signature box but they've updated it a little bit. Um, usually this inside is just white and it had like a little quote on it. This year, depending on what planner cover you got, the interior matches that planner, which I think is so fun. Um, it just brightens it up and I just love the yellow. Um, I'm not really a big yellow or blue person. My favorite color is pink and like you can tell by like my wardrobe. I wear a lot of pinks and um just variations of pink and that's what I'm drawn to normally with planners but I just I'm loving these other colors and it's just making me super happy um but here is this just little pamphlet about simplified and what they're all about so definitely if you're a new user to simplified check this out um something new this year that they have done is um, whatever planner cover you bought, you get a print of that planner cover. And then you have a little story about that planner and how it came to be, what it means, all of that fun stuff. And so I'm excited to read the back of that card and hang that in my office. Um, let's get this planner out of its box and quickly talk about it. I say quickly just because I've already done a flip through of a simplified planner before. Um, and they don't really change. And I kind of appreciate that. Um, it's the same planner on the inside. It just gets a makeover on the outside. Um, and so I did get Bees in Bloom this year. 
I at first was going to get the butterf butterfly garden pattern um, for my planner. But then I saw this and it just spoke to me. And I just love how bright and vibrant it is. I'm drawn to those type of things. And just the story of the bee and what it means that just resonated with me and my um, season of life. And so I got this one and I was so excited that I sent a picture of this to my husband. And I was like, look what planner cover I got. And he was like, it looks like your, re like your current planner. And I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> this is the one I'm using right now. And they do look very similar. Um, obviously there's lemons and it's florals, but there's, they're still different. And I honestly like this one more. Um, I love the pink. Don't get me wrong. But I just feel like this is just so connected and like, I don't know, it just makes me super happy. And so let's jump into this. Um, once again, we have that beautiful yellow on the inside. In the pocket, you get the same sticker sheet with the flags and the deco stickers and more like mini flags. Um, new paper. I love it. Um, just feels so good and this is where you'll write your name and then we have our letter from Emily herself um, then here's the prep work um, the process of simplifying how to use your planner if you're new to the simplified planner a yearly overview this one starts in 2022 of August because that's when this planner starts and ends in July of 2023 you have your holidays for the year and then here's your prep work so what worked last year what worked what didn't work last year just preparing for your new year ideas for routines the simplicity challenge a yearly bucket list and then we have our notes pages and they added pages and i'm super excited um so originally, if you're a daily user, you know that there's limited note pages in this planner because it's so big because you have a page for every day, basically. Um, so you normally have four. You have one, two, three, four, but they added some more. So now you have five, six, seven, eight note pages in your planner. And I'm just so excited about that. Um, I do use my mini notebook a lot because I don't have that space in here. But it's going to be interesting how I can utilize this. I can just jot things down. I know in the planner community, there is a lot of like note page set up. Especially like with Happy Planner and Erin Condren. And they like go all out with stickers and like charts and how you're going to use your note pages. And I've done all of that. Like, I have been a avid Erin Condren user in the past. And so I've spent hours upon hours creating these beautiful note page spreads. And then I never used them. Um, and so I really like going back to just having the page if I need it. And I'm just going to scribble on it and write down what I need to, track what I need to, um, and be very realistic about what I'm using my note pages for. Um, and then we just jump into the month. So we start with August. You still have your simplicity tip and then the months on the side. I really wish they would get rid of those and push this up and make these a little bit bigger. But it's fine. Um, and then your little note section on the side. And then we just jump into our daily pages. And I love the August. It's the start of a new planner. It starts on a Monday. It just makes my planner heart happy. Um, so we have... This, you have your day on one side from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. And then your to-do list and then your note section for the day. Um, and you still have the same color scheme per each day. And then your weekend still shares a page, which I'm okay with. Um, I know that is a controversial topic in the planner community, but it works for me. Um, and then you have your Sunday prep and then you jump into your new week and that's basically the simplified planner um 
I'm not going to flip through the whole thing because unlike other planners, when you flip to a new month, you have the end of the month and then you have the beginning of a new month in the monthly layout where other planners have like that quote page that leads into the month. Um, one other thing I wanted to note is, so this planner ends in July of 2023 and it literally ends on um, July 31st, 2023, and there's nothing else. Um, I know some other planners have extra things in the back. This planner does not. So there's that. The colors of the tabs are the same as last year, which I love how they've expanded their color scheme a little bit. Um, so I'm just so excited for this planner and jumping in in August planner I'm currently using, I did grab it a couple, well, I guess it's been a month ago now. Um, this planner did start in January and goes till December of this year and I've loved it. But with being a teacher and with my daughter being in daycare, my schedule really revolves around that academic year. And so I thought it made more sense for me to get an academic planner where in the past I have used calendar year planners. Um, and I'm excited. So I'll use the other planner until the end of July. And then I'm just going to jump right into this, um, in August. And so once again, here is everything that I grabbed for this launch. I'm so excited to use all of this fun stuff and show you guys how I will be using it. Um, but yeah. Let me know what are your thoughts of the new Simplified Planner collection. Are you an academic planner user or are you more of a calendar year user? Let me know in the comments below. Um, did you buy anything on launch day? Let's just talk everything Simplified Planner in those comments. And if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And until next time, guys, I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you all later.